And we've been sharing stories with you all day of people from our area impacted by the life and legacy of Dr. King. I just finished talking with the president of Roanoke's branch of the NAACP about a meeting with Dr. King that she says she will always remember. It was a moment with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in 1963 that made a huge impact on Brenda Hale's life. 1963, I was privileged to have long pigtails. And when we were introduced, he, he just ignored me and just went straight for the pigtails and had to pull them. That brief, playful gesture from a man who was already a living legend. He became my hero instantly. Was a part of the inspiration behind her life devoted to civil rights and activism. People followed Dr. King because he was doing all the right things for the right reasons. That we must work passionately and unrelentingly for the realization of the American dream. Hale says she can never forget that fateful day in April 50 years ago when an assassin's bullet ended Dr. King's life. I tell you, losing a hero of his nature, it's something that you never get over. She feels he'd still be pushing for justice and equal rights if he was alive today because Hale says there's still plenty of work to be done. I think he would be uh, shocked to know that there's so many homeless people in the United States of America. There's so many people that don't have equity when it comes to education. There's so many people that don't have adequate housing. Hale was part of the committee to create the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Bridge and statue in downtown Roanoke.